Hello guys, it's Kenji here, your Sculptor. Welcome back to Life of Play and here we are again for another sculpting session. This time, I will be making the famous avian resident of the Galapagos Islands, the blue-footed booby, Sula Nebosi Exisa. I know you love art and nature same as I do, so please consider subscribing and hit that notification bell icon so you won't miss out any of my sculpting videos. So without further ado, come bring the clay on and prepare to fly. As the beginning of my sculpting ritual, I did a quick sketch of this booby. And using this sketch as pattern in building the bird's armature. I filed the tip of a stainless steel wire to make it pointy and this pointy tip will be its big support. And then bend the rest of the wire and form into the bird's basic shape. Applying two parts epoxy to the wire and cover it with aluminum foil to bulk it up. And while the epoxy on its big wire is still wet, wrap around some yarn. This will give tooth to the wire for the clay to cling steadily during sculpting. And then secure the foil with some strips of masking tape. I will make this booby stepped on the top of a rock and this will be the filler for that rock. Again, using stainless steel wires for the legs. Bending their tip, make two deep cuts on the underside of the body's armature, slightly open them up and fill the cuts with two parts epoxy, then insert the bended part of the wires. Close the cuts and give the epoxy some minutes to cure. I bend one of his leg up to capture his dancing pose. I also wrap the leg wires with yarn and add some super glue, then dusted them with fine sand. We can now begin sculpting the head, starting on its beak. For all the projecting parts, I use Sculpey Premo Translucent which I mix some of my leftover clay. It is durable type of polymer clay, especially when it is blown with intense heat of the heat gun in seconds. Next is covering the head with gray colored Sculpey Premo and start forming its basic shape. Adding all its details including the eyes, beak line, and fine fur like feather texture from its head down to its neck. And while we're sculpting the head, let's talk about this bird. The blue-footed booby is a marine bird native to subtropical and tropical region of Eastern Pacific Ocean. On the primary upwelling zones, one of them is the famous Galapagos Islands. It is one of the six species of the genus Sula and they are belong to pelicaniforms, the order of birds that also includes pelicans. Blue-footed booby named for its very distinctive bright blue feet which is sexually selected trait, and they turn more blue when they become mature. The name booby comes from the Spanish word bobo meaning foolish and describes this species clumsiness on land and willingness to approach people. Males display their feet in an elaborate mating ritual by lifting them up and down while strutting, boobing, wobbly waddle and pointing their beaks towards the sky before the female. And if you are a male booby, the bluer your feet are and the clumsy your dance is, the more chances for you to receive the female's lovely yes. Female of this bird is slightly larger than the male and can measure up to 35 inches long with the wingspan up to 5 feet and weighs an average of 3.3 pounds or 1.5 kilograms. And usually lays 1 to 3 eggs at a time and they practices asynchronous hatching in contrast to many other species whereby incubation begins only when the last egg is laid and all chicks hatch together. Their diet mainly consists of fish and other prey in which the carotenoid pigments they get through this diet are highly concentrated in their feet, making them appear blue in color. They obtain these foods by diving and sometimes swimming underwater. It sometimes hunts alone but usually hunts in group. And after that, we can cure it now using heat gun. Before we begin sculpting the body, I added more foil filler for the wings and inserted wire to the tail to add extra support. 
using two parts epoxy to adhere them. And there it goes. Now cover it with clay and form its basic shape. I cut this sheet of soda can for the wings extension. This will give a strong support to the wings projecting feathers. I made deep incision on the underside of the wings and tuck in the metal sheet, closing the seam to secure them in place. And we can now start adding its feather texture. I use various kinds of tools and plastic film. Some of these tools are purchased as they are and others are my personalized and modified one. Adding the medium length feather of the wings, making their tip rounded and add fine ridges on them. And I continue the feather texturing on the neck towards the body. For its breast and underside, I only add shallow and very fine feather texture. And using this folded sheet of soda can to cut through and slightly lift some of the feathers so they may look like blown by the wind. Adding pieces of translucent clay on the knee as the starting base of the legs. And we can now bake it. Let us now sculpt the tip of the wings, envelope the metal sheet with a thin sheet of clay, pressing the clay gently to remove air pockets. Adding details of the wings, longer feathers, supporting the underside with a metal spatula and then add fine ridges on each individual feathers. I cure each finished parts with the heat gun before proceeding to the other. Next is the tail. Same texturing method is applied. Cover the rest of its body with clay, add texture, and bake it. I bend and cut some pieces of smaller gauge copper wire and attach them to the leg wires using yarn and super glue. This wire will give support to the web fit during sculpting. We 
can now sculpt the legs and feet, starting on its raised foot. Flatten a strip of clay and wrap around the leg wire. Close the seam and shape it. Next is sculpting the web feet. Cut a thin sheet of clay into a semi-triangular shape and lay it over on the fan wires and start shaping it. Trim off the excess and blend it to the leg. With the support of a flat thick silicone tool, flatten and make the web edge thinner as much as possible using ball tip tool and shape all its claws pointy. Pushing down the web of its foot to give them their natural loose appearance. Brush it to roughen the surface and add circle shape scale texture on its tarso metatarsus. Refining the feathers on its knee, then cure it with heat gun. For the rock base, I add more foil to the rock filler I formed earlier to make it clumpy, using two parts epoxy to pack them together. I use two parts epoxy putty for the top portion of the rock, for it is rock solid once cured and will hold the bird firmly. Using Sculpey Original to cover the rest of the rock filler and place it on a tile. Adding rock texture using crumpled aluminum foil and a small ball tip tool. And we can now bake it. And I continue sculpting the other foot, same procedures is applied, just leaving the excess wire exposed under it. I added more clay to the underside of the tail to add volume and textured it. I also patched the exposed wire underneath its foot and did the last baking. We can now paint the booby. I used titanium white for the base color. Let us now paint the rock. I use dark gray paint for its base color. And alternately paint it all around with the wash of raw amber and black. Titanium white and little raw amber paint mix for the bird dropping details on the rock. Highlighting the droppings even more with the wash of titanium white. Using clear glue to adhere this green colored sawdust to add most details around the rock. And to make the moss blend to the rock color, I paint them with dark and yellow green. For the wings and other dark areas of the bird, I use burnt amber for the base color and to add highlights to this dark plumage, I dry brush them with coffee brown. To add depth to the head and neck feathers, I apply wash of burnt amber and using a damp tissue paper to wipe away the excess. To have a smooth shifting of the colors, I mixed in slow dry acrylic medium to the coffee brown and brushed the thin paint from the dark areas towards the light areas.
painting the tip of some of the feathers on its back with titanium white and coffee brown mix. For his foot, I use titanium white mixed with little amount of aqua blue and drill blue. And painting the underside of its toes with light gray. Painting the eyes with yellow light and with titanium white, adding that of black paint to each pupil. Let us now seal it with ultra matte varnish. Semi matte varnish goes to the legs and beak, and gloss varnish for the eyes. And there we have it, the blue-footed booby is finally done. Isn't he so cool and cute? Well, I hope you enjoy the first ever bird sculpture I made. And may you find it helpful and useful to your sculpting journey as well. If you like more sculpting videos like this one, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell on so you won't miss out any of our future videos. Thank you again for watching and see you again next time. Have a great day everyone! Ciao!